Uh, well, I actually you started tweeting at her, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. No, no. She tweeted us. So the powers of Twitter um, actually connected us. So, uh, well, we, we met her actually in England um, years ago, like in 2007, and just had kind of a short conversation with her, and then. But a really uh, good time. Yeah, yeah. And then she she uh, tweeted at us when we released this record. And I, uh, I tweeted back, <laughs> and then uh, I ended up co-writing and producing her new EP. And so, um, I don't know. She, she, she. We were in the studio one day, and she was like, I was talking about her video, and she's like, Oh my god, I love that idea. She's like, I just want to be in it and just skate by one time. <laughs> and so uh, she came by, and things kind of progressed, and she ended up kind of doing the intro. And yeah. Everything. Yeah. I mean, it's just uh, we did five songs together. It's. Uh, Kind of uh, garagey, um, just real gnarly, fuzzed out rock and roll. And she had, you know, she she laid down some um, some vocals that were just super cool and um, real screechy and and f-ing energetic and stuff. So it's cool. Kind of felt like I owed it to people, um, and uh, I I was talking to one of my friends who's the lead singer of um, Morning Teleportation, one of his mentors is Isaac Brock from Modest Mouse. And Isaac had once told him that if the songs he sang didn't slightly make him feel uncomfortable or embarrassed, then he probably wasn't writing good songs. It made a lot of sense to me. We're definitely we've, talking about yeah, it. Yeah, we've, and we've, all, we've continued to, this is the first time that we've come out of the studio, or for, or for me at least personally, I always come out of the studio and I feel empty. I, I, I feel almost paranoid that I'll never write another song. And uh, this is the first time that I've came out of the studio and just was so inspired from the steps that we took forward this on this record that I just continued to, to write. And uh, we've both been writing and we have a good list of like little demos on our phones and stuff like that. And so, I don't know. I compete I, I, with how many ideas we have. Yeah. I've got 143 on my phone. <laughs> how many do you Well, I have 162, so I'll beat you. Well, anyway, 143 uh, no. was six months ago. <laughs> but, um, no, I, I think it would be pre- preferential if we could get like maybe this late fall or something, start working on a new record. I think it's a band that just is passionate about what they do and they love to, to play for people. And also, it, you know, when you feel the energy reciprocated from the crowd, um, and there, it's like this, I mean, it is a really unseen kind of energy that, um, that you do feel. I mean, a lot of the shows that we, that are our favorite shows, we get off stage and it's, it's like you can't even remember a part of the show, you know, except for you just feel that it was a great show. Mm-hmm. For me, it, it's it's um, just trying to find that place in your heart and in your mind that, that where you are able to get back to the place of creation, like how you felt when you first wrote the song, so that it's a very genuine like performance. Um, I think about like uh, when we used to play house parties a lot and stuff. When I'm just trying to to stay connected to that because that's what was special in the first place. I think. No, I think we might make a comedy country record. No, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ever count anything out as far as like not like modern country, but maybe like I could definitely see us putting a little bit of a like a western a, a western feel. feel into the music. Um, you know, the funny thing, which I think a lot of people overlook, is the country influence in Nirvana's music, which was a huge element that that made it feel organic. Without or even that, the it, Rolling Stones. Yeah, without that, it would would have been very just kind of masculine and. Um, aggro kind of, you know, but it was that country feel that made it feel so real and great. But it's not, well, I mean, know, there were many different things. It's not it like commercial real, country nowadays. Yeah, it's, totally. It's more like the organic, you know, old 60s and I love Hank Williams Sr., Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, um, all that stuff, yeah.